is off to a hot start, gentlemen. We're 2-0, and oh, which is a crazy start. That does not happen often. The ring ceremony went flawlessly. We've got an absolutely insane quarterback, an insane new prestige, the fastest running back in the game. We got Charles Woodson, Daniil Hunter, Tito is back. And did I mention we're 2-0? and oh? I mean, we're undefeated. Can you say the same thing about your poverty NFL franchise? Can you say the same thing about your favorite team? In fact, I'm going to use the start of this episode to throw some shade. Giants fans. I thought I thought Danny Dimes was the truth. I just watched you guys get waxed by the Seahawks. Bears fans. I thought Darnell Mooney was the second coming of God. I thought Justin Fields was going to have a breakout season. You lost to the Broncos. The Broncos got 70 dropped on them. I'm sorry, you didn't just lose to the Broncos. You choked the 21-point lead to the Broncos. Chiefs fans, you literally lost to Zach Wilson in primetime if it wasn't for the refs. Literally two hands on Mahomes, me. <laughs> you lose that game. Uh, Chargers fans, you have the worst coach of all time. Fire this guy. Bengals fans, Joe Brr, Joe Shiesty, Joe worst quarterback in the league right now. Browns fans, Deshaun Watson, need I say more. Lions fans, best organization in football. I don't have anything bad to say. Raiders fans. <laughs> Wheel of Mud, episode three of the new season. We're 2-0. and oh. Still a lot of holes to fill on the team, but it's been a spectacular start. So we'll hop into our wheel spins. I know that as you're watching this, I think season two in Madden has come out. So the episode after this episode, will have a lot of new players in it. And hopefully, hopefully an upgrade for Jamar, Bosa, or Derwin James, but that remains to be seen. I don't know. I mean, offensive line looks like it could certainly use some work. Maybe a fullback, a wide receiver three. It's a lot of fun stuff we can do on offense. Oh, oh shit. This is a very new one. For those of you who are fans of my Superstar Mode series, here's what we're doing. I get one carry as the 88 overall Hall of Fame running back, Matt Maher on the Buccaneers. However many yards I get on that one carry, I multiply that by 2,000 coins. That's how much we get to spend on one player. So if I get TFL'd, nothing. If I take it 80 yards to the house, that's 160,000 coins. The difficulty is all pro and I'm on simulation. So there can be penalties. Let's go. Oh, lots of room. No. Don't be fast. Don't be fast. Don't be... Go! To the corner! Let's go! <laughs> 18 yards. I'll take it. I'll take it. So 36,000 coins to spend on one player. I'll probably pick up a left guard. Let's pick up a left guard. And the only reason I'm not picking up a right tackle is I kind of want to spend more coins on a right tackle. Like, I'd rather save right tackle for a, a much better buy. Unfortunately, that's not enough coins for Quentin Nelson. Damn. I needed a couple more yards. So it looks like we're going to get an 83 overall left guard. Still nice. There are no 83 overall left guards. It looks like we're going with Landon Dickerson for 13,500. All right, gentlemen, first wheel spin's a little weak just because I didn't take that kick to the house, but that's okay. The opportunity was there. Hopefully, this one's a little stronger. I guess. Actually, oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind. This is massive. I needed this so bad. I have no linebackers. I got Rashawn Gary, Amari Bernie, Jalen Graham. Obviously, Daniel Hunter is amazing, but dude, I've been bitching about Amari Bernie for like eight episodes. Eight episodes, Matt. Shut up. You're just so full of shit. I can take any 84, 85 linebacker in the game, so I'm gonna get my pick of the litter on 85 middle linebackers. You know what's funny, though? Is the best 85 middle linebacker is Trenton Simpson. I just don't want to rock the same player, so let's find somebody else. There's an 85 Bobby Okarike, 82 speed, 83 excel, trash change of direction, so not, not really a guy I want to use her. Although I honestly should be using her as safety anyway. What about N'Kobe Dean? What's N'Kobe Dean looking like? He's fast. He's got good change of direction. He's just short as hell. 5'11", 231. Dude, he's pretty good, though. Ulysses Gilbert? Who the fuck are you? 83 speed, 85 5 Excel, 85 block shed, 80 hit power, 6 foot 230. Ulysses S. Grant. That guy was the president. Christian Welch. Yo, that's a big, big boy. 6'3, 240, 82 speed, 80. That's my that's my man. Christian, dude, I don't know anything about this guy, so I'm excited to use him. Brand new MLB, baby. So Christian Welch is wheel spin number two that takes us to our third and final. Let me get a heater though. Let me get a heater though. There's too many good things on this wheel. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. 88 jackpot. Oh, it's, oh, it's like the wheel spin new. <laughs> this is the only 88 free safety in the game. It just so happens to be Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor, who I passed on last season, I could have had him. 90 hit power, 90 zone. This is an interesting card, though. I've never seen a card with such low man coverage. They've never given Sean T such a pitiful man coverage stat. I think it's probably to balance this card because it's so good. 6'2", 220, 88 speed, 87 excel. I do run some man coverage this year, a lot more than I did last year, so I do need to be concerned about that, but it's Sean Taylor. 
Taylor, guys. We're gonna be all right. And his price has dropped a lot. 170,000 coins ain't bad. Let's see what abilities he gets. I assume he's gonna get like a Crusher Enforcer type deal. Not yet. Damn, that's a bummer. I'll give him Pick Artist so him and Charles Woodson can have Pick Artist. I think that'll be a nice combo. I mean, what a massive upgrade Sean Taylor is. He's a demon, dude. Sean Taylor, Derwin James combo. Yikes. I can run really good nickel sets now. Crazy good nickel sets, especially with Tyson Anderson, the backup. Don't you ever forget about the challenge wheel. There used to be, there used to be a time in Wheel Mutt seasons where I'd forget. It's too important now. I always have to remember one of my favorite ones. 50 rushing, 50 receiving, and one touchdown with one player. If you think it's anybody except for Raheem Mostert, you're smoking. Looking to go 3-0 against Craze Python. The top three's got a new member, Sean T. What do you got, sir? Manti Teo, Calvin Johnson, Bo Jackson. Does he sit down? Oh, no. I'm a bum. And that's a laser beam. Boom! Charles Woodson! Does he run this football? I'm going Sean T for the stretch. Play action. Play action. He's rolling out this way. He fumbles. We got it. Oh, Rashawn Gary. Rashawn Gary with the recovery. I don't know who popped that out, though. Who popped that out? Hey, it's Daniil Hunter. Of course it's Daniil Hunter. Wow, what a, another amazing start. We need 50 rushing and 50 receiving yards along with a touchdown from one player. Take a guess. Take a guess as to it's going to be. Oh, Gronk does not get a good angle, but guess what? It's Raheem Mostert. He's so fast. We're attack the middle right behind Gronk. Where are you, Gronk? Good. Go, go, go. Oh. This is a little risky, third and six, to even run this one more time, but I just trust Gronk so much. I'm going to try it. We go stretch left. Oh my god, I'm so sexy! Fuck! Someone suck me off! Oh my god, that was gorgeous! You're such a pussy. You guys are such pussies. The bazillion time. Okay, so I'm sure you guys know the rules by now, but let me go over it one more time after I get to take a look at this. Oh, did I almost just get Team Wheel Jackpot? Oh, I want that Jackpot. Oh, wait, wait, that's actually nasty. 8086 Team Wheel is actually really, really good too. Just to reiterate, a Rage Quit in the first or second quarter does not count. All I do is I take my Rage Quit spin and I go into another game. That actually counts because I'm sick of these fucking frauds trying to fuck up Wilma. We're, we're here for a good ball game, baby. Sorry I turned you over. Sorry I ran like a god. Here's our team for the Team Wheel Jackpot. Is that the, is that the Buffalo Bills? So any 80 to 86 overall player from the Bills, I'm taking stuff. Stefan Diggs for two reasons. Number one, absolutely carrying my fantasy team. Round one, pick 10. Two, I need a wide receiver. Three, he's actually just as good as Jamar. This is what's really frustrating about my Jamar prestige. No upgrades yet. So like I'm consistently buying wide receivers that are actually better than my prestige wide receiver. But it's just one of those things. I have to be patient. I just gotta wait. I know EA is gonna give Jamar a card no matter what. I just gotta be patient. So now we've got Jamar Chase, Stefan Diggs, and Quentin Johnston, a pretty dope wide receiver core. But I have not locked in my players yet since that game doesn't count disciple q vic megatron manti teo andrew luck gronk and sean taylor by the way guys the last guy i played at a great team i don't think it's literally a, a skill issue i just think there's no penalty for quitting number one there's no penalty for quitting number two the quarters are so much longer now so i think people are sitting here thinking bro am i about to play 30 minutes of a game that i just started with a turnover like no i'm not gonna play it opening drive of the real deal game what's he got prime time woods and Ramsey. Okay. He's got Paul Krause in there, but that Quentin Johnston route on this mesh spot play. I love this play. Mesh spot in the Dolphins playbook. If he bails out to the streak, I throw underneath. If he doesn't, I throw it every time. He goes to guard it. I'm checking down. I don't even think he guarded it there. <laughs> Jamar Chase took a lick. He's still not going to take it. Dog! Quentin Johnston has 60 yards. Holy shit. Maybe I got to get some rushing yards to Quentin Johnston. I'm going to hand this off to Mostert. He kind of knows I'm handing this off. It don't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll go nickel 3-3. Three, three. I get to user the dog, Tyson Anderson. I fucking love Tyson Anderson. It's actually a very strong unit I have out there. And look at that. Daniil Hunter's all over it. Dude, straight up. This defense is disgustingly good. Throws under the bow. Oh, I fucking whiffed it. That's my bad. Oh, he goes under the bow. Bo Jackson just became Randy Moss. That was an insane catch. He does hand off Bo. He's going to be a problem. Jesus, he's going to be a problem. Oh, that's not even Bo. That's Walter Payton. And Charles Woodson couldn't catch him? Wait, so he has Bo Jackson and Walter Payton? Yikes. He's going for two. That was Bo. That wasn't Walter Payton. It was Bo. Dude, am I going insane? I might be going insane. We're going to stuff this, though. Let's go!
No, no, he has both. He has Walter Payton and Bo. Jesus. I'm gonna go with the stretch run here. I'm gonna run it at prime time. I know he's blitzing. Oh, I thought for sure my fullback would pick him up. Third and 14. We need a big pickup here. I hope this isn't man. If this is man, I'm actually in trouble. If it's zone, I can hit Jamar. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bum. All right, let's get Raheem cooking, dude. I got to get that challenge wheel. 50 rush, 50 receiving. Mustard, mustard. Edge, come. Balls, shaft. Let's go. 15 on the ground for mustard. Is he open on this check down? Oh, he is because that was a blitz. Skirt, 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 skirt. I'm going to run inside zone all over you. You better fucking adjust, man. You better adjust. You know what I got to give Mustard credit for, too? Mustard and ketchup is he doesn't fumble. That's what I got to give him credit for. And this dude just keeps... Oh, what? You couldn't get out on that route? Fraud alert. Third and nine. I'm not coming all the way down here to come up empty. Let's make something out of this. What the fuck is in Parrish's hand? Yo, look at Parrish on the far left. There's something in his hand. There was like... There was like hay or stra a straw in his fucking hand. A street. Yo, re Yo, Ty, can you play that back in slow motion? Look at the far left wide receiver. What? I've never seen that. Dude, show me it again. I want to see that again. I've never seen such a thing. No, it's gone. No. What was that? Dude, I just uh, imagined and little easter egg third and nine this is a very big pickup where's the user where's the user where's the user where's the user there's a flag oh dpi i can just keep this I'd be like Patrick Mahomes. The refs are sucking me off. Oh, I'm going for two. I'm going for two, dude. If I get this, it's a nine-point game. Dude, guess who it's two? Guess who it's two? Stefan Diggs. Also, if you think I'm doing anything but running inside zone here, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> 15 to six. Nine-point ball game. Motions across is a left side run. I'm going to bring Derwin down. I'm going to blow this shit up. Oh, yeah. We're here. We're all over this. Damn. Bo Jackson and Walter Payton is a, that's a hell of a duo. Oh, he, re he really runs it again. I respect the effort, but he just, he can't get the rock moving right now. We got quads. This could be a screen pass. It's not, it's low over the middle of the bow. Nice play. What do you think, Tyson? Sniff it out. Oh yeah. Tyson Anderson. I wasn't even needed there. Heater, heater. Oh wait, I know what he wants. He wants a bow throw over the middle. He's gonna do an angle route out of bow. Right? Oh, Ooh, I was actually right. Tyson Anderson with a sack. It's third and 15. Here we go. Guess pass. Go get the quarterback. <laughs> Rashawn Gary. Rashawn Gary having one hell of a game. He's got a fumble recovery. Or no, he had a fumble recovery last game. Huge sack right there. Fourth and 22. We just play over the top and we, we fucking smoke him so fast. It doesn't matter. Oh my God, Rashawn Gary. I would quit. If somebody did that to me twice, I would quit. First and 10, dude. The only thing I'm worried about right now is Mr. Mustard. Mr. Mustard needs more yards. And Matt is throwing sketchy balls for it. Inside zone time. Oh, all the way, all the way edge, all the way edge. I'm diabolical. I'm that guy. Five rushes, 35 yards and a touchdown. You know what? I'm 15 yards to the end zone. So if I get all of these yards with mustard on the ground, then ketchup, then mayonnaise. No, then I get 50 and then I need 50 receiving for our challenge. That does not look like it's runnable against. I wonder if I can get him with this out route though. Damn, Paul Krause. Is it man coverage again? Fuck, I want you to clear so badly. I'm forcing this though. I'm forcing this so hard. What do I have? Do I have like a better route? Any route that's gonna beat man coverage with him? Dude, there's not a single Texas route in this entire playbook for the running back. I'm so shocked by that. I'm just gonna run stretch right if we get this. Ugh, I could have ran that better. I could have gotten that. I definitely could have gotten that. I'm gonna take my field goal. Just take the points. You know, it's funny. I was saying that this challenge is a cakewalk, but when he's in man coverage like that and I don't have angle routes or anything, it's kind of hard to get those yards. Butker's gonna put this one through 18 to six. Like the fact that he has Walter Payton and Bo and all these dudes is what's concerning. Oh, no, no. That's actually like literally exactly what I was just talking about. When your overall is that high, you like shit like that happens. He's going for two. Situational awareness is zero. Daniel Hunter pulls him into the end zone. He is really leaving that open. Quentin Johnson is gonna have one hell of a game if he decides not to cover that all game. Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. 
I'm good. Stefan Diggs having a great game too. We just added him. Is this zone? Is he go back to man? What are we looking at here? So I think that was man. He just played that so well. <laughs> Finally. Well, shit, if you throw the same thing like eight times, I feel like eventually you'll get it to go. Right there, that was perfect too. Gets out of bounds. I don't have to use a timeout. He hasn't used any timeouts either. Uh, there's 24 seconds left. So this, this should, I mean, clockwise, this should work out very well for us. Gonna go inside zone here and we're gonna get a lot of room. Got hit hard though. No, that's so open. Mustard. I, that, I wasn't planning on throwing that. It just freed up so nicely. Mustard now has a touchdown on the ground, a touchdown in the air. He doesn't have his yards that yet, though, on either, I don't think. He's probably close on rushing for now. You're a bum. You have officially lost the game. Hey, Welch. Dude, all our new guys. All our new guys are having a great game. Welch having a great game. Diggs has got a tutty. I'm going to go a play action couple slants here hoping this is man oh he can't get to it quentin johnson's having a fucking game what a move i'll oh, get the juke i f that was halftime oh my god that was halftime i didn't even realize holy shit wait could i have gone down with time on the clock and called a timeout and gotten something out of that oh i'm an idiot oh i didn't even look oh no that's actually really stupid he gets the ball oh no i won't even know until this video's over how much time was on the clock there oh could i have caught that and gone down and kicked a field goal or was did i have to make the touchdown happen oh dude if i went out of bounds like with one second left basically like i fucked that completely i'm gonna be so mad As, dude if i lose my like two no it's not gonna happen he figured out the meta against my team which is to fucking run the ball <laughs> because he's such a high overall oh what a move wow that was a sick move as he handed off we knew he was going there oh you got that first and goal i'm shocked he got that there it is. Oh, it's there. It's there. Yes! Let's go! I wasn't needed. Dude, this guy has 89 Najee, 89 Bo, and 89 Walter Payton. He just put in his third running back. Holy shit! Okay, he runs it again. Oh, yeah, congrats. 89 overall offensive line. 89 overall everybody. I don't expect him to run this now. I'm going to bring Derwin down just in case. Wow, he really does run it. Let's fucking go. Dog, like, you're actually making me mad to let me, to let Quentin Johnson have 150 yards on the same play, the same throw, hop on Paul Krause, and go walk over to it. Uh, you know what? I don't even think that was man. That just ended up being open. That's the thing of when you play on all Madden, though, you don't actually get to see their play call. So I, I don't actually know what he's running. Is he going to leave the boy, Uno Mas? Oh, you know what? It was there. The throw to Quentin Johnson was there, but that defense looked a little different to me. I didn't really know what to do there. Gronk's there. Oh, DPI again? Did he really just get like a DPI? That's the second time he's done that. I actually feel bad. That's like, that's just a full-blown bailout. I don't know what he's doing to get that, but he got it twice now. Ooh, I had digs. That's a bummer, but I have Gronk. What a ball. He was fully fucking... There were dudes coming all over Andrew Luck's face right there, and he still delivered that pass. Does Mostert have his yards? You go stretch right and cut this up. He guessed, he guessed a right side run right there. Great throw to Gronk. Big stiff arm! Third and one! Coming out in an RPO here. Take it. No! Stiff arm! What did I tell you? That is mustard on Bruce Smith! And he breaks it! I'd be fucking... I would be so mad if this happened to me. He did it. It was a user play too. Like, I actually feel so bad. Now we take it home. To the promised land. To the promised land. I don't think it sealed the game, but it almost sealed the game. Oh no. Bad call, bad call, bad. Oh, this is beautiful. Inbounds, three yards. He has thrown the ball six times. I can't get his snap count down. Uh oh, 84 is a touchdown. <gasps> Rashawn Gary is the MVP of today. Three sacks, three tackles. Rashawn Gary's MVP. 84 is not going to be there. 81 is. 81 is. <laughs> get up! Jeff Okuda! Take me home! Four, I'm sure to the back. That's ball game. He's probably going to quit. 55 yards on 11 carries. What does he have through the air? I don't know what Mostert has through the air right now, but he has it on the ground. Okay, first and 10. Let's get Mostert a shit ton of passing yards right here, right now. Oh my God, he actually probably will. Beauty. It's, it's it. That's 50. It's got to be. Oh, show me his stat line. Oh, five receptions, 63 yards. Mostert's got above 50 in both and the touchdown. It was actually pretty hard. I was saying that was a lock. We just completed it with three minutes in the fourth. 
And we'll just add a little bit of insult to injury here with a disgusting juke. There's a really good pack in the store too. So I'm very excited about that challenge wheel dub. Fourth and goal. I'm going to go for it. Why not? Laser. Wow. I pray that this, like he actually takes this game to fruition because I would love to see the stat line at the end of this. Sometimes you're just on, man. You know, there's a challenge on the challenge wheel, which is to double my opponent's score. And I've always looked at it and just thought to myself, like, wow, that is so hard. When am I going to be able to do that? And right now, we are perfectly doubling his score. Please don't kick return this now. It would totally ruin all the cool stuff I just said. Ooh, big heave. You know what's so funny? He could have done that the whole game. Like, I had I had read blank and ship on Megatron. You just, sometimes you don't think about it. And clearly he didn't. Like, he just realized that. And now he's so mad at himself. I know he is. He's like, oh my fucking God. He's got a gold 77 overall over there on Megatron. I could have been doing this the whole game. You think that wear out's a touchdown again? Or was that like a one-time fluke? No, it's a touchdown again. What are you running, man? What are you running that's allowing such a thing? Man, oh man. Can I run out the whole clock here? I would really like to, and I'd like to score. <laughs> Fuck. We really are the Miami Dolphins. Holy shit. 22 for 34, 37, and three touchdowns, no interceptions. We didn't turn the ball over. 13 attempts, 55 yards, and two touchdowns for Mostert. That's nothing on Walter Payton's 36 average yards per carry, but he wasn't able to maintain that throughout the whole game. He wasn't able to continuously do that, so it worked out. Two broken tackles for Mostert, two tutties, and then through the air. I told him, dude, Quentin Johnson's about to have 150. If you don't switch up. Johnson, seven for 140. Mostert, seven for 169, and I was worried that he wouldn't hit 50. He also got a touchdown on the ground. Diggs, four for 60 and two touchdowns in his debut, which is awesome. And sadly, our long lost prestige man, Jamar Chase, only two catches. Really hoping to get my man an upgrade so that we can start to incorporate him into the offense a little bit more. Um, I'll feel good when we do. Gronk, kind of a non-factor today. We didn't, we just didn't need it. That's all there is to it. It's not that he was, not that he was bad. We just didn't need him. Uh, he did have two pancakes though, so you can't be mad about that. Defensively, three sacks out of Rashawn Gary. Such a good game. We got an interception out of Okuda, an interception from the brand new Christian Welch. Tyson Anderson has one and a half sacks. One for Hargrave, one for Simmons. And uh, yeah, he, he did apply really good pressure though. And yeah, dude, there's this really good pack. Great Iron Guardian Elite Pack. So I get one of any pack in the store for the challenge wheel completion. 281 plus Great Iron Guardians, 180 plus Elite Player. Best case scenario, a right tackle. Or some D linemen. It's a lot of good case scenarios. It's also some bad case scenarios like that. That sucks. That does not help us. He'll go to right tackle. That's insane that we just pulled that. Let's go. Chase Claypool doesn't matter anymore. Let's get it. And we get Chubb Hubbard. I finally remembered I'm putting Charles Woodson as my return man. And then offensively, Orlando Brown. Thank you so much. He's a 77 at right tackle, but it's a huge upgrade from the silver. We're an 81 overall. Um, And I, I technically have a backup hat back. It's so crazy though that Chubb Hubbard's also an 81 and he's just, he has nothing compared to Raheem Mostert. This Raheem Mostert is so much better. You're staring at the reincarnation of God himself. All right, gentlemen, things are seriously looking up. Things are looking really good for the squad. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!